<laughs> We've already had the chicks for four days, but they're not in our brooder barn yet. We've actually been having them in the house because the nighttime temps have been too cold. But today, we're gonna bring them out to the brooder barn. In a video last week, we showed you guys that we were setting up our brooder barn for the Cornish Cross chicks that we're about to receive, that we were about to receive. Uh, we actually received them, but the day that we got them, the lows that night were supposed to be down into the upper 20s, and that was just too cold to have them out here on their very first day. So we decided to keep them in the house. We've actually had them in the house now for about four or five days, uh, but now it's time for them to come out. One, because they're getting big enough now that they're strong enough already that they can be out here, and two, because the house is starting to stink a little bit like chickens, and it's time to get them outside. So we need to get everything set back up so that we can move the chicks out. We've got 50 of them, actually 51, and they all need to come out here. from in the house. These are one gallon waterers. And right now the chicks are already going through two gallons of water a day. So we fill these up once and by the next morning they're completely gone. So they're already going through a bunch of water. Let me fill that up. We uh, just keep a five gallon bucket of water in here that we can fill. So we don't have to run to the well house. And then we also put a splash of raw apple cider vinegar in each one of their waterers. And that helps them uh, from getting pasty butt and kind of helps relieve the stress just nice added bonus for them. We're gonna keep these both on this water heater pan, which will keep a lot of bedding from like piling up inside the waterer here. And we'll also keep the water from getting all yucky in the bedding. So it's just real nice and helps to keep things dry. Now for the feed. The chicks are already going through a large coffee can worth of chick food every single day. So they've graduated away from the small chick feeders to this next size up. This will allow us to put a lot more feed in there. two of these nice feeders which will help keep their bellies full longer in between the times that we can come fill these feeders. Now Cornish cross chickens are generally on a feeding schedule. Um, a lot of people feed them 12 hours on and 12 hours off and so do we but the first three weeks we let them feed as much as they want uh, 24 hours a day. We just find that they have a good start with having 24 hour feed for the first three weeks. All right, we're all set up. Let's go get the chicks and bring them in. All right, we have the chicks out here. It's time to start getting them in here so that they can get under these heat lamps. We've actually had them split into two groups of 25 in the house. 
but now we're going to have them all together. And they'll stay together until three weeks old, then they'll be split up again into two separate chicken tractors. There you go, little guy. Now when we raise Cornish Cross meat chickens, we always do all roosters. They grow much faster and much bigger. And we find that with the roosters, their size is much more consistent than with the hens. We got 50 of these to put out. Now that they're all out, they can start exploring. Let's give them some time just to settle in and see how they find their food and water. Well, we're excited to have these little guys here on the homestead. It's hard to believe that in only seven and a half more weeks, these will provide an entire year's worth of chicken meat for our family. Now, just as a reminder, we've done a really in-depth series last year about raising Cornish Cross chickens and actually the difference between raising Cornish Cross and the Freedom Rangers. Make sure you check that out. It's really great information. And if you're on the fence about whether Cornish Cross is, is right for you or the Freedom Rangers are right for you, definitely check out that series. You guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead today to see us get these new chicks and move them out to their brooder. We're excited that you stopped by. We'll we see you guys back on the next video. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.